welcome back to Cooking with Johnny G and Claire. Today we're going to make tres leches. It's a three milk cake. It's a three parts to it. We're going to make a sponge cake, a real airy sponge cake, and then we're going to make a filling for that, and then a topping of whipped cream. Uh, so first start with the, the sponge. You want to separate six eggs. Okay, we have our uh, egg whites and egg yolks separated. To the egg whites, we're going to add a half a teaspoon of cream of tartar. Uh, you could also use lemon juice if you don't have cream of tartar. This helps to stabilize uh, the egg whites when you, you whip, a, whip the meringue together. The whole idea behind this cake is it's a really airy sponge cake so it can take on all this liquid. Now you're just going to take the egg whites and you're going to whip these to soft peaks. You can use a hand mixer or stand mixer or you can do it by hand. Okay once you've whipped the egg whites into soft peaks yeah, you basically you know, just incorporated a bunch of air in there. That's the whole idea. So just keep those off to the side. You put them in the fridge for a minute. Now the other part of the batter is your start off with your egg yolks. I'm going to use a scale. Um, just makes it a little easier. To this we're going to add one and a half cups of sugar or 298 grams. And you're going to put this on the mixer as well with a whip until you get like a ribbony texture. Then to the egg yolk mixture you're going to add one third cup of water. We're going to add two teaspoons of vanilla. and one teaspoon of almond extract. And let that mix up well. Okay, now you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And then you want to put together the flour, which is one and a half cups or 177 grams. And we want to sift the flour on this in particular because again, you're trying to add as much air as possible. Then we need two teaspoons of baking powder. You can dump that right in there with it. Right, then we want to add a half a teaspoon of salt to that flour. Okay, now we're going to add the flour mixture to the to the batter. You don't want to overmix this at all, because you'll lose some of your air. We've already lined a, a 9 by 13 inch pan, put a little bit of uh, oil in the bottom, parchment paper, and then oil the parchment paper. This is a 9 by 13 pan, at least, it's a little better than 2 inches, but you want at least 2 inches high. This size pan actually works perfect. You want to have that ready to go. Oven's on, 350. And now we're going to put the batter together using the egg whites and the batter that we just, we just made with the egg yolks and the flour. Now, again, you don't want to lose the air, so you want to add about half of this. And gently kind of cut and fold. 
reaching down to the bottom of the batter, bringing it up, without losing all that air. You're going to lose a little. Then we'll take the rest of the egg whites, cut and fold, cut and fold. Okay, then we'll just pour this right into the pan. Okay, now just gently smooth it into the corners. Make sure it's even. You know, a lot of times when you make a cake, you'll kind of bang the cake pan and to get the air bubbles out, actually. In this case, it's the opposite. You want all that. And right after you put this together, you want to go right in the oven. Again, 350. Okay, and we're going to cook this for 28 to 30 minutes. So I'll set it for 28 minutes and then we'll check it. Okay, now while the cake's baking, uh, we're going to make the filling. The filling consists of three milks. We have uh, sweetened condensed milk. A half a cup of heavy cream. And then you have one and a half cups of either evaporated milk or half and half. In this case, we're going to use half and half. To this, we're going to add two teaspoons of vanilla. Okay, we're just going to mix, mix this together, and then we'll hold it in the refrigerator until we're ready for it later, after the cake cools. Okay, looks good. Nice sponge. You can see how much that rose. Now, you just want to cool this completely, but before, you know, while it's still hot, you want to make sure all the edges are loosened. So just take a knife and gently go around the side. Okay, after the cake has cooled completely, um, you can remove it from the pan, put it on a platter and do this. I typically like to leave it in the pan. I think it helps give it structure and hold all the liquid in. And then you want to take a fork. Uh, we're going to poke holes. You don't necessarily need, you don't want to go through the bottom of the cake, but you want to go all the way down to the bottom of the cake. And you're going to just pour this on top slowly, giving it a break here and there just to soak in. And this is a ton of liquid, but this cake takes all of it. Um, it's pretty amazing. So now I'm just going to wrap this with plastic wrap, put it in the refrigerator for at least three hours. You can leave it overnight if you like. Okay, we've allowed the cake to set up for three hours after we pour the uh, liquid the liquid milk in. Now we're gonna top it. We're gonna make the topping. We got a cup and a half of heavy cream, nice and cold. And I put my mixing bowl and whip in the refrigerator to cool down as well. It's just better to have all this stay cold. Okay, then we're gonna add, it says 50 gram of sugar. Recipe. I'm using powdered sugar, and then I'm just going to give it about a teaspoon of vanilla, and then we'll whip that up. So I'm going to whip that till it's stiff peaks. Very easy to ice this cake. I'm just going to top it with the whipped cream. Oh, 
And then just a little bit of cinnamon. Top it off. And that's it. Trace light chase. Let's cut a piece and dig in. There you go, trace leches. Just delicious, about as moist as can be. Thanks again for watching uh, Cooking with Johnny G and Clara. We'll see you next time. Next time we're doing pizza night at the request of uh, John McAlory. <laughs>